Here's a very interesting question from Zach Matera. Uh, he, he says, innovation, is innovation a state of mind? Paul Polak, what do you think of creative use of rainfall as a first step to tackling hunger before small-scale drip irrigation begins? And he goes on to say in, in a follow-up comment, um, In Kenya and other parts of East and Southern Africa, we have seasonal and short rains. Often uh, the short rains are seen as a nuisance that damages the maize that is still being harvested. Uh, farmers from Kenya are planting maize the way colonialists did 70 years ago. Um, Mum planted a five-month crop of maize, harvested it, and planted a second crop from the last month of the seasonal rains. The two months of no rains and the nuisance rains supports the drought-tolerant crops like beans and simsim. Simsim is the most expensive seed crop in Kenya and beans are our main sources of protein. Uh, so here, uh, Zach describes some creative ways of using rainfall. Zach, I agree that uh, ra rainfall is a very uh, uh, important thing. Uh, the rain. Most uh, poor farmers use uh, rainfall to irrigate their crops. The problem is that uh, while it's good to use rainfall for crops like maize, just like you're describing, maize is uh, more of a subsistence crop and quite often um, crops like maize and rice planted during the monsoon uh, don't have a high market price. Uh, on the other hand, many people plant vegetables and uh, use those vegetables uh, as a source of food for the family. Uh, all of that is uh, to the good, but when uh, you try to sell those vegetables in the market, uh, everybody else is selling vegetables too because it's easy, easier to grow vegetables during the rainy season and so the price isn't very good. So in terms of income, it's always better uh, to move crops into the dry season and then to use uh, the rain from the rainy season if possible uh, as a way of providing water. A simple way to do this is to uh, make a small pond, fill it with water from the rain uh, that comes in the monsoon and then use that water at least in the early part of the dry season to grow a crop and you can get more money from it. There are many other creative ways of using monsoon rainfall. Uh, in fact, uh, one of the important ways is uh, to expand on making a simple pond and in this case make a pond that's covered with a plastic sheet so that uh, if the water doesn't evaporate you can store it into the middle of the dry season and then use it to plant, uh, to plant some uh, high value off season crops and drip irrigate them. Uh, there are other strategies as well. Uh, many people, for instance, plant cotton, plant pre-monsoon cotton. If they plant it just before the monsoon season comes, they, it changes uh, the disease pattern because a lot of the pests have multiplied during the uh, monsoon season when most cotton is available. If you plant it just before the monsoon season, and maybe even irrigated by hand once or twice. Then it gets a head start and when the monsoon comes eh, the plants uh, really thrive and they're out of the normal pest cycle. Uh, that can be done with many plants just like your mother did. Uh, the other thing is there's a whole body of research on drought tolerant crops which uh, then can be gotten a head start in the monsoon season and can be uh, harvested uh, during the dry season. Uh, how to take advantage of monsoon rains most uh, productively uh, and creatively uh, is the critical thing. I do think that innovation is a state of mind and if you think innovatively about your, this uh, uh, problem like your mother did, you, uh, you'll come up with lots of uh, creative solutions. One of the problems is that people often uh, that get used to only growing traditional crops in traditional ways only during the monsoon period get used to uh, sort of get into a rut and don't think outside of the box. Uh, they can also be discouraged and that sort of 
uh, is a way of inhibiting uh, innovation. Uh, give my uh, uh, congratulations to your mother. She's a creative person, sounds like you are. And that sort of creativity with uh, how to use monsoon rains is what we need to help poor farmers, uh, especially if they don't have access to irrigation and are looking for ways to more creatively make use of monsoon rains.